Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So as you may know, I'm sure that you know if you've been following this channel, Earth's second moon, known as a mini moon, officially made its debut. Yeah, going to be with us until November 25th, and it's got to leave. It's got plans elsewhere, I guess. I, I know. You know, I'm just kind of scratching my head. It's like, why do people really think that the moon is going to come and park and then all on its own is going to pop right back out there? Second moon, yeah. You know, the scientists are doing a really good job, I'm sure, of covering up for this one because, well, that's what they get paid to do, to do basic cover up. Yeah, you know, it's it's part of the big reveal. And, you know, of course, we also have the comet. We have Comet Atlas here you see over Mount Adams. In fact, there's a lot of beautiful pictures coming in all over the world. This one is from Arizona. Also has what they call an anti-tail. Uh, so you see the tail, the trail, uh, in front of the comet's head facing towards the sun which represents where the comet has already been to. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Lots of images. And again, you know, so much of what they say is asteroids and comets, you know, icy rocks and not icy rocks, I guess, is what they're trying to give us and give us these representations of a surface of the comet looks like this. But in reality, it's a bunch of guys, you know, sipping cafe lattes. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, we definitely have a lot of uh, things going on in the human mind and the human body. And when I was zeroing in on this energy of this comet, it, it was interesting because it was more of a consciousness than a ship. It was more of a consciousness than a being. It was more of a consciousness, uh, something to do with altering consciousness, awakening people. So even if people have a completely calcified pineal gland, this comet is going to have effects on the human body and on our DNA. It's it's going to bring us to another level. And this is one of the many things that the controllers are concerned about because they know they cannot stop it. They absolutely cannot stop uh, the evolution, our evolution to a higher frequency. This is their concern. I mean, it's like trying to stop a rose from blooming. You know, it's just not going to happen. It's what they do. So... Uh, People are in for a wild ride, lots of emotions coming up, um, lots of activations happening, uh, even for those who would normally, uh, you wouldn't think that they would activate. Well, they are. So that's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. 10 degree tail visible without any problems. So, you know, again, then you think, well, is this Nostradamus's comet where he talks about the Third World War starting? When the comet runs, again, it's all in the scripture because it's part of the script. Let's listen to, to Elon a moment, which, you know, now there's a greater portion of people than ever, it seems, that are, are getting a little suspicious of uh, El Elyon. I think Tesla, you know, would continue to do very well even if uh, I was kidnapped by aliens. <laughs> oh, or went, went back to my home planet, maybe. Yeah, you know, he says this all the time. He has so much fun with it. It really does. And so um, this is a pastor who's looking at it from a very biblical point of view and saying, you know, he's got he's got a lot of it right. You know, he's just looking at it from that biblical lens, like the, the Bible is flawless. And, you know, Elon is a fallen angel or something along those lines. But he does have it right that Elon is going to be all about merging humans with AI. Absolutely. You know, this is, is what it is. Uh, and when, you know, laughs about, when he's laughing about things like uh, extraterrestrials or space travel, um, at the same time, you know, we could see that there is agreement uh, on a lot of the positions that, that Elon is is the good cop. You know, there's a good cop, bad cop scenario that they do all the time. Of course, it depends on, you know, which side of the street you're standing on. But when you look at this, um, obviously, cryptocurrency systems using body-activated data, all this stuff has been out there. We've covered it in many, many videos over the years. 
Um, and Elon is super important. And way back, I was saying, you're going to see Elon get into politics. And, you know, I know there were comments out there saying, but he's not from the U.S. Well, it doesn't really matter. Again, they're going to redo everything about the system. The, the U.S. is in its Pluto return. So, you know, even the illusion that we have a constitutional democracy, a democratic republic, all those terms really are just terms that the control system gives us in the first place. And, you know, it's time for things to be remade. And they have all that down uh, to a science. And they are, they have it all completely planned out. Now we're seeing the robots, you know, being mass produced. Uh, by Elon, by China, you know, it, it's just the next step. And we also see a few things that he's concerned with. Um, <laughs> this reminds me of, again, Men in Black, um, you know, meat suits, is this one saying, oh, Elon's kind of proportioned a little weird there. Maybe he's got a little guy in there navigating through the body, you know, and in reality, um, <laughs> we laugh at it. Yeah, T for torso, Tesla torso. Um, yeah, you know, it, it, it's funny. Elon Musk is an alien who got lost on Earth using his extraterrestrial knowledge, became a billionaire and created SpaceX to develop ways to return to his planet. Hmm, that's, it, it's a funny concept, but the reality is this goes way, way back. Uh, it's planned uh, thousands of years ago in reality, but time itself is an illusion and it's a construct for us while we're operating through um, our own little vehicle the body and what is elon concerned with he, he always is tweeting about this almost every day he puts out a tweet about population decline birth rates continue to plummet population collapse is is coming it's it's in progress it absolutely is in progress and here we go you know we I'm going to, we'll, we'll do a video of that, um, was getting me really kind of sad last night thinking about it, um, and thinking about the, the history that we have under our feet and what it really, really means and is, you know, we are on the cusp of a new era. And of course, if you are fundamentalistly minded, the term new age, uh, might get you angered or fearful. Yet yeah, it's it's even biblical. You know, these are all birth signs, uh, signs of a new age. And yes, we are in a new era, a new age. And even though it does always look darkest before the dawn, uh, we are in that period where the light is going to grow. The light's going to shine on everything. It's going to expose the system for what it is. Um, meanwhile, yet again, the earth is going through a great redo as many people are aware of and even people pointing out right now those um those numbers that rhyme with beagle begins with a d and looking to uh one of our st well a couple of our states north carolina and tennessee and wondering you know is that part of this that we're seeing unfold at this point in time and what does this really really mean again it's the c control system uh letting go a little bit of its grip on the minds anyway of of humanity on the minds they, they still control the economic system the system was brought here by them it was instituted by them so it's never going to be for us we need to devise new ways of doing things and what what can we do we could look to as far back in the past as possible to get inspiration mm-hmm I know, you know, looking at the the word with new age, it, it really does seem to bother a lot of people. But I, I think deliberately there's been um, uh, there's been focuses put on it to get put a bad taste in most people's mouth. What they what the control system does is they will take these new ideas and they will twist them and they will tweak them and they will really truly make them a very bad thing. In fact, when these are ancient ways, they're just ancient ways of existence and, and when you are able to hone in on the authentic ancient ways, you realize very quickly that it is not a bad thing. So this is more of the FBI, CIA, 
putting words out there to make people scared because they don't want to let go of their control system. And if they can make the word new age, if they can make that scary and dirty, well, everybody, when they hear it, they're just going to automatically push back and they're not even going to want to learn and understand it in that authentic way. So I think that's where we're headed. Uh, we're headed in a direction where the control system is very frightened and they're doing what they need to do, including uh, slowing down or stopping uh, stopping birth rates. Well, you know, we look to Cabbage Patch Kids. We look to um, all those other redos in the past where all of a sudden um, there's all these displays at the world's fairs uh, of, of babies and in incubators. There was way more to that than most people understand. And there's a lot of people that intuitively get that. They really get that, though. They don't get the whole story. We did this video, the real story of Tiamat and the birth of Earth, about two years ago. Um, we were amazed to see it went up to 25,000 views on EE Arts because EE Arts, as you can see, has 20,000 uh, subscribers and been locked into their um, pretty much since its inception. You know, when I had to make EE Arts, um, <laughs> Evolutionary was at um, 67,000 or just shy of 67,000 uh, subscribers in May of 2019. And we stumbled on what their plans were, were for the next seven months. Um, you know, and you know what came out in the end of 2019 and then subsequently after that. So, you know, they had um, basically uh, gave us strikes on evolutionary. We couldn't post videos for a long time. So I made EE Arts right before they did give us the strikes. I felt it coming. And then we shifted and, and got it up and running. So about a third of the people that were subscribed to us jumped over. And it's really stayed there ever since. Uh, they, they only let about 30 or 40 new people a month uh, come aboard. And, you know, on Evolutionary, the whole time, the last uh, five years, they've been taking people away, taking subscribership away. Um, because, again, the people that watch our videos are, for the most part, the same people um, that have followed us since the beginning as we're not allowed to be seen by, by the masses. This is how they restrict the, the true knowledge coming out. Yet, somehow, this one made it to 25,000 views. So, um, this one is the real story of Tiamat and the birth of Earth, which, you know, I'll have the link there for you guys to go through it. I think it's... Um, it's really good to get you up to date if you haven't seen it yet um, to the the reality of what's going on. The alien invasion happened a long time ago. It's well documented in the in the Hindu uh, texts as well as also among Native American and other indigenous people around the world's uh, traditions. And you know, Elon, Elon, as you see, I'm not just MAGA. I'm dark MAGA. Yeah, you know, he is in so many ways the archetype for for Batman, for Iron Man, for, you know, the Antichrist, you, you name it. You know, Elon is the fulfillment of so much. It's only obvious that he will be into politics. Um, I've known that since like 2017, it, that he's his purpose is literally uh, to initiate into the world a whole new uh, way of looking at things and really merging humans with AI. It's really all about getting people to, you know, line up to have that nanotechnology and, and artificial intelligence inserted into them. Uh, again, with the, the concept of extending the lifespan and saving humanity from, uh, well, from extinction. So again, he is the good cop to the bad cop but the reality is we're leaving that age we don't need him we don't need any of this technology we ourselves these bodies are the technology of the future they are changing i think a lot of people forget that when we are talking about technology when we are talking about going to the stars when we are talking about being able to <laughs> go into a wormhole or a portal our bodies are that technology. It, it's going to be so easy once people are awake to go and see another planet. It's going to be frighteningly easy. We don't 
We don't need a spaceship. We, we do not need these things. You know, these things are supplied for us as an illusion, as the false matrix, as, you know, something that's, uh, they're going to make it look necessary, but it is not necessary. And he is taking that uh, very jagged pill and he's making it easier for people to swallow when it comes to the AI. He's sugarcoating it. He's making it pretty. He's, he's making it popular. This is his job. His job is to inject the AI so that humans are not resistant to it. It's a very important job. So we can never really forget that as we do our as we have our journey here on earth, um, keep in mind that every piece of technology that you do take in, uh, there's something that you're going to be losing. And I, I know that we need technology to exist in the world right now today. Uh, you can't just go walk off the face of the earth and, and not have certain things. A lot of people are a lot of people need the medical system right now. A lot of people still need medicine until they are able to get off of it completely. We need things. So it's not going to be an easy just walk out and turn your back on the technology. No, we have to do baby steps and we need to be responsible in getting our health back. I mean, I think as soon as we can get our health back, if you are able to make things with your hands, or you, if you are able to fix things with your hands, if you are able to grow anything that you want, you are a very rich person. Then you no longer need that system that they're creating for us. For everything that we have to go out and purchase and buy, that weakens our ability to stand on our own and have what we need. So we need uh, at least to know how to fix things, grow things, build things, or <laughs> maybe we need to have somebody teach us so that we stop giving away our power. So when, when you look at Earth, right, and then you look at Mars, what's the big difference? You know, you look at Earth, you see a lot of blue, right? You see blue, it's beautiful. You see blue. Now, you might like red. Red's not a bad color. It's energe energetic, that's for sure. There's no ocean, right? No ocean on Mars. Revelation 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. Hmm. Ah, no longer any sea. Well, yeah, there's not a sea on Mars. And if you were looking at our solar system and the rest of uh, the universe that we can visibly see from Mars, it, everything will be shifted because you're in a different place, a different location. Uh, and yes, there will be somebody out there uh, that's eaten too much junk food that will say, you know, again, you know, you, you believe in planets. You believe in, you know, that there's other worlds out there. I can't take you seriously. We can't take you seriously is the reality because a lot of those comments come from cia fbi agents that are snacking on cheetos uh, and they enjoy it too and it, it's actually fun for them and they get paid a lot so we really have little to no tolerance for those who are just throwing those comments out there just to be contrary it you know we really don't spend time on it it's something that uh it, it's not important to us so people who come here come to us because they might be confused. They don't really know what's going on. They are looking to see and understand uh, a different way of being because something in their life has probably been shattered. There's probably been a major trauma. These are people that come to us and we help them regain their footing and walk their own path. One thing we do not do is we don't tell people what to believe. We give people the power and the energy and the resources to find your own belief system because that's what it's all about. Yes, and you can see New Jerusalem coming from the sky, which is a perfect cube. We've talked about this many, many times. If you have any, any, um, <laughs> any doubts at all that this is all the Martian way of things, um, when we look at the Kaaba, I think that's... Kaaba, Kaaba, I think, yeah, Kaaba and Mecca. It it's it's a black cube. You know, Elon was talking about uh, uh, again. I am dark Maga again, 
MAGA, Make America Great Again. And, you know, there's this energy that's talking about, it feels like Babylon is what they want to say instead of, you know, Make America. It feels very, very Babylonian, Sumerian. Again, that's that's really, again, the dark Anunnaki is what it is. Dark MAGA is dark Anunnaki. And here you have a dark cube. And, you know, again, um, they also will wear them these dark cubes on their third eye position you know or you know on the forehead uh in some forms of of judaism it's more of an antenna to get information it's something that's very very curious um and and then you know you look at black rock it has a black cube i mean these black cubes are everywhere and they're usually connected to something that isn't very nice, a system that is not very nice. So, you know, when we're looking at these things and we're reading through, yeah, the, on, the, on the screen there, um, having the black cube on the forehead, this is, uh, this is almost like a, a signaling. This is something that brings information into the mind. This is a control type of device. Uh, it's, it, to me, I don't feel like it's a good thing. So I go very much like by feelings is what I do. And uh, they, my feelings are very important to me because they help guide me. They keep me out of trouble. They keep me in alignment. They keep me uh, using my heart and they keep me following my heart. So my emotions and also having my emotions to be healed is very important. And every one of these, every one of these beings here, they are all putting their hand on this wailing wall, which is really, to me, it, it's pretty horrific because it was, a, it's a ritualistic wall. And when they go and they put their hand on it, what they are doing is they are getting, it, it was a ritual, so they are getting the magic from that wall. And, and we all know what happened to the wailing wall. It's not a good thing. Yeah. And again, every one of them you can find, whether we're talking uh, Macron or whether we're talking 45 or, you know, we'll go on down the line. Milikowski, I mean, Malay, uh, sorry about that. Netanyahu, obviously, it, it just goes on down the line. Oh, look at who we got there. We got Boris there. You know, this is because this is they 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 are part of the Martian system. And, you know, there are actually rabbis um, that have been on record saying that, you know, this is part of the tradition. We don't come from here. No, they come from Mars. They come from Mars, literally, quite literally. This is where the ancestry comes from. At the same time, you know, humans, uh, we come from all over the place. Oh, you know, lesser of two evils, everything that you see is part of the same system. Everything is part of the same system, and, and they all have the same lineage, and it's, it's the God of War lineage. It's the Martian lineage. This is the reality of what we have, and yet there are truly angels, but no, these are not fallen angels. You know, again, that term is coming from, and a bald eagle just went overhead <laughs> as I was saying this. It's kind of cool. Um, this is the original Greek term is messenger. So, you know, these are all just messengers uh, of the system, the dark Anunnaki, the fallen Pleiadians that uh, Cindy calls it. And yet, you know, nature uh, does have angelic beings the, and the angelic beings are there to basically help the original plan. And they are there helping us all the time. They're, they're helping all those star sea light workers out there. And sometimes you can get a picture of these angels when they're using the elements to show themselves. It really is a thing. I don't know if you've ever gotten a photo and see, you can see the, the light. The light might be uh, turned a certain way or it might look a certain way. Well, these are angels. And when it's allowed, when it's needed, they show themselves. And it's very, very beautiful when they do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, last night I could see energy enter the, the room as we were having a hard time sleeping around 3 a.m. And, you know, I asked Cindy, uh, somebody come in the room because I could see energy patterns come in. And yes, it was a couple of angels that were telling us basically to go back to sleep, uh, you know, get your rest. And and so we did. Um, 
we are not unsupported. We are. And in fact, you know, the tide is turning, even though it looks very, very dire at this point in time. Uh, the dark control grids time is limited. So stay hopeful, stay positive. Of course, prepare for all the things that could happen, but do so in a Buddhist detachment sort of way where we're not being pulled down frequency-wise. Source blessed. Namaste. Namaste.